Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a video on software defined radio. I have my USRPN210 connected. Uh, this USRP has a board UBX40 that has a bandwidth from 10 megahertz approximately all the way up to 6 gigahertz. Uh, it's a network series USRP. Uh, so, uh, so the the tool that I'm going to show you is called UHD FFT. Uh, this is the tool that comes free compiled uh, when you download Gnu Radio Companion and how you access this so whenever you have your machine you have installed your GNU radio everything is good to go just simply go to your terminal I'm showing it on my MacBook uh, just simply type USD underscore find devices that will tell you that what kind of a device you have connected to so for example I have my USRP that has a serial number of this and this is the IP address the default IP address is 192.168.10.2 you can change that uh, that facility is only available or when you have your Linux machine. Uh, there is another tool that I'm going to show you today. It's called UHD FFT. There are a lot of tools. Uh, UHD FFT. I think I made a video on UHD, UHD signal generator. I'm going to show you a tool called UHD FFT. Let's say if you just want to look at, you don't want to bother with the GNU radio flow graphs and things like that. You just want to use that to analyze frequencies, so wireless frequencies which are in air uh, at your vicinity. So just simply type in UHD FFT. You can type H for help. Uh, it will tell you what are some of the parameters that you need to have. I'm not going to play around with this. I'm just going to show you directly how you get access to. Just simply type in UHD. Let me just make it a little bit bigger. Uh, just simply go here. Let me clear this so you can see it clearly. Simply type in UHD FFT. Type in TAC F for frequency and type in any random frequency. Like for example, I'm going to type in 935 e to the 6. Because of my dollar board that is from 10 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz, you can type in just about any frequency. I'm going to type in GSM frequency and I'm going to hit enter. Now it, what it will do, it will bring up a screen for a spectrum analyzer where you have your signal that you can look at it in terms of an FFT, uh, in terms of a uh, in terms of your spectrum analyzer which is in this tab you can also look at it in terms of waterfall graph and you can also look at the scope graph as well uh, I recommend you like for example when you're using uh, connect a mouse with it because uh, and you can use this wheel of your mouse as a third button now what this wheel will allow you to do it will allow you to access different components so for example right now uh, when I'm pressing the wheel of my mouse you'll get these options so you can auto scale it you can come in you can stop this if you just want to focus on one you can change the color and things like that you can do the averaging whatever you want all the control panel stuff is going to appear when you use your third button all right uh, same thing for waterfall graph you can right click press the third button press the wheel of the mouse and you will get these you can change the colors and you can also do it for the scope as well so you can just simply auto scale it right click on it uh, and and you can you can just you can do whatever you want I mean you can play around with your Y axis which is there you can just hide your control panel if you don't want it you can right click uh, click the press the mouse wheel in and you will get your axis like this as well so so you can play around with this now the cool thing is uh, you don't want to bother with the video and you just want to actually check and see if my USRP is working perfectly fine if you scroll down you will have all the options you will have your USD version which is there you will have your device information what is the serial number what kind of a daughter card that I'm using where do I have my antennas connected in receiving mode you can play around with your receiving gain all right uh, so there are two ports on your USRP as you can see here and here so this is my RX2 and this is my TXRX so normally when you're transmitting this TXRX is being used but normally when you're receiving RX2 so you can just simply go ahead and change this as well you can change this because in both of the ports I have antennas connected doesn't make any difference but you you, you, you can do whatever you want I mean, uh, one of the antennas that we got from that I got from ethos research is words 2450 that is specifically for your Wi-Fi frequency and this is what 900 that is for around like lower frequency ranges you can change your sampling rate in the flow graph uh, I think it supports up to 20 so you can like go ahead and change this I'm going to change this to 10 
So having a mouse connected, you can get a lot of things. Now you get a lot of frequencies. So you're getting all the way from 930 all the way up to 940 megahertz, all the frequencies. So based, some of the basic information that you need regarding your device is just going to be rightly displayed. So so this is like the best tool that when you want to just don't, you don't, you don't know what, how to like, you know, you're still learning about GNU radio, but you just want to check and see if my device is functioning properly or not. So this is like one of the best tools. Just simply go in USD underscore FFT. Uh, so you get everything. I can increase the gain of my device. Uh, so as you can see, I can I can increase the gain on my device. You can go up to, I think, 40, 40 dB. You can change the frequency. So now here you have variable variability in terms of your frequency. So where I'm looking at 935, I want to go ahead and let's say I want to look at, uh, uh, let me just raise this, and I want to look at 2, 4, 5, 7 mega. That is like Wi-Fi. So I can just uh, click on it, and now I'm I'm tuned into 2.4. 2 2.457 gigahertz so that's another cool thing let's say i want to look at my fm band uh, i don't have a proper antenna for it but i'm just going to simply try let's say i want to look at 104.3 e to the 6 here we go i have my 104.3 uh, 106 i'm getting a good frequency at 106 i can also i'm getting some good frequency at 105 and 102 so, so this this is a very handy tool that you need to have. Now, if let's say you want to look at some other frequency, I don't know. I want to try one zero nine zero. If I'm if I'm getting at any of those frequencies, so one zero nine zero, not much. Let's say I want to try some G, G, uh, GPS one five seven five four two mega e to the six. Oh crap. Uh, one point five seven five four two e to the six. What's going on here? One five seven five uh, e to the six. Uh, one point five seven five. So this is somewhere around GSM. Uh, sorry, not GPS. So this is somewhere around your GPS frequencies, and simultaneously you can also look at your waterfall graph as well. So here's my waterfall graph, here's my scope graph, and things like that. So I just wanted to introduce you to, you can change the windowing function. Let's say you want to have hemming, hanging, rectangular, normally Blackman Harris is the default window. You can change this. You can use your right wheel, uh, the wheel of, uh, press the wheel of the, your mouse, and then you get all that information. So that's why I would like to just, I just wanted to introduce you to this handy tool that, is that, that comes uh, pre-compiled. Uh, when you just do a GNU radio or download. Uh, I think I made a video on it, how you're going to download MacBook, uh, how you're going to install GNU radio companion in your uh, MacBooks. And I think I made a video on M1s and you can just simply go to that and watch that video. So if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.